जय हिंद एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू द पेटोटिक आई एस लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर आई एस पी सी वाला डेली न्यूज एनालिसिस अंडर दैट वी विल स्टडी द मेजर न्यूज एंड एडिटोरियल दैट आर रेलिवेंट फॉर द यू पी एस सी एज वेल एज स्टेट पी सी एस फॉर टूडे वी हैव एट नाइन टॉपिक दैट वी विल कोवर्ड एंड मोस्टली दे आर फ्रॉम द टूरिम्स परस्पेक्टिव वेरी फ्यू आर फ्रॉम द मेन्स परस्पेक्टिव एंड दे आर नॉट दैट मच कोड टू द our upsc syllabus so it will be a quick revision of all that thing many a thing uh, we will recap like the this uh, uh, electoral bond this pakistan uh, elections and india eu free uh, agreement all this will be like a revision so yes we will we will have this maharashtra state backward class commission that has submitted its report so prelims perspective is, uh, basically it is for, for the state pieces and it is maharashtra state pieces then we will study essential service maintenance act this is important this is for the mains perspective uh, as we have the topic of the regulatory bodies under the governance so we will study kalveri class of submarine internal security gs paper 3 perspective so mains then we will study central consumer protection uh, authority has given the draft guideline this will be again from the gs paper 2 regulatory authority that will be the like that okay then we will study the chabahar port gs paper 2 international relation it is important for the prelims as well as for the mains then we will study uh, this uh, pakistan's elections and the nature of the state in the pakistan so mains perspective very quick revision then india eu free trade agreement quick revision clear masses to the courts no to the electoral bond again quick revision for the mains and in the last what is going on with the uh, this account that is frozen of the congress so we will know the basics this is not that much this is political so this is not relevant for us so let's start with the first phase a uh, page as we know that yes uh, the congress party many of the its uh, bank account has been frozen and uh, there has been the coverage what is the region on the editorial page so we will see that in the editorial page next news is uh, the opposition member of the putti in this alexi nawal uh, nawalni he has been now as uh, the allegation is that he is killed he was opposing the uh, putin in the uh, russia and the, he's died of uh, what is the this is very secret what is the reason for his death many are claiming that he was killed by the slow poisoning so yes he was 47 year old and yes so you should know that uh, what type of government that is going on into the rasta no respect no uh, space for the opposition this is very important this slide this is from the carby and long this is in the assam so upsc prelims can ask carby and long match uh, the state where it belongs so assam and you should know that assam is the largest producer of the broom grass so what is the broom grass let's see the the plant of broom grass so this is the plant of the broom grass okay is it visible and yes this is this is when it is harvested it's look like uh, uh, this so you must be looking in your house on a daily basis this is news uh, that to uh, the bombing b- bombing by the israel into the rafa so you should know rafa this is the southern part and it's it had the border with the egypt egypt has started making ball a uh, wall so that the it can prevent the migration into its territory okay most important thing you should know that there is the 1979 peace agreement between the israel and egypt so there is uh, there is the strain in this relation there could be the break away because this is uh, this peace the name of this peace accord is the camp david accord and it was implemented in 1979 and it was brokered with the mediation of the us at that particular time the president of us was the jimmy carter and the prime minister uh, the president of uh, egypt was uh, anwar sadat okay so you should remember this thing just you should know the name of that accord camp uh, yes da- camp david accord so this is all about the gaza strip and west bank that is considered as the place 
under that the Palestinian state will come into the future. But now we see that how the Israel is encroaching in the both areas. So if there is the possibility that is that seems to be losing. Okay. Here this is news with respect to the Maharashtra State Backward Class Commission. It has submitted its report. The it was under the chairmanship of the Justice Sunil Shukre. So you should remember this name of the chair portion. Maybe it can uh, it can be asked into the prelims. Next important news is with respect to this UP invokes Essential Services Maintenance Act. You should know this is uh, this Essential Maintenance uh, Act. This comes under the concurrent list, and that's why the the law on this matter can be framed by the central government as well as the state government. So already central government has the Essential Service Maintenance Act, and this is to done to ensure that delivery of the essential services such as the transportation and medical services they are not uh, stopped and it should not be uh, resulted into the uh, disruption of the normal life of the people so in the up we saw that already we have imposed this so that this election should be the smooth and that's why yes nothing uh, no disturbance in between so you should know that the state government can also make the law as per the specification of the state um, demand and necessity. So UP already have this uh, Uttar Pradesh Essential Services Maintenance Act 1966. Okay. So yes, that you should know. This is in the concurrent list. Concurrent list is in the seventh schedule of the Indian Constitution. Okay. Next, uh, you should also know this uh, Bias River that passes through the Kullu and Manali. So you should not be confused with this. Next important news, today we are going to take okay, any relevant news that is important for us. Let's see. No. Okay, this is important with respect to the internal security. So India we are going to purchase this torpedo and this torpedo will be used into the Kalwari class submarine. What is a submarine? Submarine, it is, uh, it's remain operated inside the water, no visibility, so it is more lethal to attack. The enemy will not able to know that where we are and the missile will come inside from this uh, sea and water body and yes, there will be the attack. So this is considered as most uh, technologically uh, the, uh, achieved area and yes there is need of uh, a very high level of the technological know-how and uh, this Kalwari class has been made under the project 75 and uh, with the assistance of the France and it is diesel electric attack submarine not the uh, nuclear submarine what is the name of the nuclear submarine Arihant let me show you this Arihant this is the Kalwari class and Adihant class that is nuclear submarine. Other diesel electric submarine are the Sisumar class and Sindhu Ghosh class. So please remember Kalwari, Sin uh, Sisumar and Sindhu Ghosh they are the diesel electric submarine and Adihant class this, this is some uh, nuclear submarine class. We also have uh, we are going to develop uh, this uh, such as the S5 class project Alpha Project 75 Alpha and Akula. These are the nuclear submarine. So please remember S5, Project 75 and Akula. This name is very uh, Indianized type like the Kalveri and uh, Sisu Ghosh. So you should remember that whenever there is the Indianized name such as the Sisu, Sisumar and Sindhu Ghosh. So it will be Digital electric submarine and whenever there is the some of the western type of name such as the this uh, Arihant Akula they are the nuclear submarine One more thing you should know that this defense acquisition council this give its note for the its give acceptance and consent after that we further proceed for the purchasing any uh, defense uh, tools or anything okay so this gives the acceptance of necessity and after th that we further go for the procurement process so yes this is all about torpedo you know what is a torpedo this is like the uh, a 
uh, let me show you this is like the missile and this is used into the marines this is like the this is the torpedo they are mounted on the marines and they used to attack the ships this is all about next important news the guideline from the central consumer protection authority it has uh, came up with the guideline that any of the misleading news or any of the misleading advertisement with respect to this uh, these uh, coachings will be considered at the violation and there will be the fine and penalty so what will be the what are the misleading advertisement they give the false claim regarding the success rate and number of the selections or the ranking of the student and they talk about that it is just we are that uh, give uh, it is due to the us only the result is there but they never consider the effort and hard work of the student so you have to mention the hard work of the student beside that you have to mention for how long the student was in your coaching for what are the uh, program that he has uh, selected and how much money he has paid all you have to consider because uh, you have to mention because generally even if the student go and just register in any coaching and whenever the result came they claim their and they claim for their success so yes it create the pressure on the student as well as the common man parents how can they pay that much and they precise that if their the student their kid is not going to join this coaching he will not able to get success but this is not true it is the only 10% is from the coaching or any institute 90% is the hard work self study of the student that matter only guidance is needed and that is uh, you can get from anywhere okay next important news you should consider is chabahar port so you should remember that this is very important and it is our our reply to the chinese one uh, one belt one road initiative and under that uh, particularly uh, to the Gwadar port that is in the Pakistan we are making in the Iran and we want to connect ourselves with the Afghanistan Central Asia and uh, to the Russia so we want to reach and also we want to reach the Eastern European countries by this route so Chabahar port we want it to popularize that's why India has asked the other countries like the Iran, Russia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan to please use this port whenever you have to go through uh, you have to proceed toward the uh, this Arabian Sea or the toward the Central, uh, Central Asia so let's see the root of this Chabahar port okay Rafa we uh, study the in the Egypt that is making wall here Rafa is here this is here and this is a uh, Sinai Peninsula of the Egypt this is known as the Sinai Peninsula and this is Aqaba Sea, Gulf of Aqaba, and this is the Gulf of Suez. Okay, so please remember this Gulf of Aqaba. This is just between Saudi Arabia and Saudi Arabia and this uh, Egypt. Let me minimize it, so there will be the clarity. Okay, so this is between this is Saudi Arabia and this is. Sinai Peninsula of uh, Egypt so this is the Chabahar port here you can see the Chabahar port from here we want to make this road and we want to reach the Afghanistan and further we want to reach towards yeah this will further go to the this to Central Asian countries and uh, Russia if uh, we will go through this part that is the normal path this takes a lot of time and a lot of fuel and cost but if you will go through that it will reduce the path more than one third and this path is known as the north south transport corridor and who is making it is making through the agreement that is known as the asaga bath agreement here it has a saga bath agreement this is the multimodal transport agreement and who are the country involved in this india oman iran turkmenistan uzbekistan and kazakhstan so please remember this asaga bath 
agreement this is important with the prelims as well as mains you can use in the mains and in the mains uh, you can use this international north south transport corridor so maybe in the prelims they can ask that the countries that are under the asaga bath agreement so it is the oman iran turkmenistan uzbekistan kazakhstan okay so these are the three central asian country oman and yes iran and india they are the core nations so this is all about next important news that we will cover this is with respect to the uh, the election that is going in the pakistan and nature of the pakistan election this is the cycle of the pakistan election and you will be surprised that how many prime minister till now in the 50 years there have been the 30 prime minister and uh, army always control these parties and these uh, prime ministers because uh, and it is the nature of the pakistani polity that some of um, most of these prime ministers were once they uh, are in the favor of the this army army favored them and suddenly they go out of favor so both things they face and uh, this prime minister never th never think never about to come to conclude that this is the army that is controlling and always for example now nawaz sharif has been uh, uh, getting the favor but the same nawaz sharif was sentenced for the life imprisonment in 2000 and he was uh, yes again uh, he became the prime minister in 2013 so this shows that how much the t the ups and down takes takes place for example here it has given the nawaz sharif uh, uh, um, um, uh, even recently he was uh, convicted under the Panama Papers leaks and he was out of the Pakistan. He was in the London, but when the this Imran Khan case is updated, so he got the favor. Now the army has asked him, and in this here it has mentioned that even the Supreme Court that support the army so, uh, on the order of the army so, the supreme court uh, 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 reduce this remove this conviction and all the allegation and yes give the clean cheat and yes allow for the contestant to the election and whenever they are out of the favor of the army same supreme court put so much allegation so much sentence like the for the imran khan now he was booked into the illegal marriage there is the seifer case where he has leaked the internal uh, data and security to the public and outsider so uh, what here is uh, it is needed to understand these parties and prime ministers candidates and uh, those top leaders that now the time has come you should come on the same page and you should understand the nature and mindset of the army and that's why the writer is stating that yes uh, yes so on the t time has come and yes all you should come together without you should also include the pti what is happening now the all the party they have come together but they have excluded the pti because pti is out of favor of the army so yes here it has mentioned the hybrid democracy what is mean by the hybrid democracy yes for the face values there will be the leader there will be the elected government but backside there is always the army and authoritarian forces that is controlling the government this is the hybrid democracy please remember this this is very important concept okay so this is all about we already have covered a lot of about this next important news is with respect to the electoral bond again the same thing that electoral bond here it has mentioned that it is very good step from the supreme court in a direction of uh, the electoral reform and uh, here it has mentioned that the limit of the funding by a corporate house or organization under that this uh, scheme removed this limit even even uh, a company when it is in the negative means in the loss well even in that case they can they can fund as we studied that it was previously 7.5 percent of the benefit now nothing leave the benefit even if you are in the loss you can why if a company in the loss will go for the funding if it doesn't uh, going to get the, some huge benefit in the future so this shows that there is uh, uh, it's create a, a influence on the political process of this corporates okay electors bond also removed the earlier limits how much of its profit of a company could donate to the political party and this 
even the loss making companies make donation this is already we have seen uh, said and this crony capitalism this promote the crony capitalism and the thing is that even election commission he uh, warned that this will this if you will include this uh, corporate funding on a that uh, huge scale there is the chance that cell company will be there cell company will be formed for the funding to uh, to uh, to bypass this process that yes uh, generally the this cell companies are used to launder the money as against the claim that you are claiming that the black money will reduce but the black money will increase by this so here beside that it has mentioned that uh, to this was so much compulsion by the government that uh, for this single scheme they they amended four laws they amended rbi act they amended the representation of people act 1951 income tax act and companies act are you getting the to just bring a scheme they and even they bypass the uh, this uh, rajya sabha and by that they brought this scheme under the financial bill financial bill money bill you should know the money bill that is uh, 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 rajya sabha doesn't have that much power uh, just it has power to discuss and recommend it doesn't have power to vote against the bill so they brought this under the finance bill just to bypass so it was also criticized and here it was response of central in oh, why they they brought all this thing uh, this is key in the uh, if you go into the po uh, contextual background you will find that it was the central information commission it's a ruling that all the political funding should be transparent you have to give all the information where you are getting money and to bypass this uh, order from the central information commission they brought this uh, uh, electoral bond scheme a good uh, and it was so much complicated that common man cannot understand what is the process and just say that yes it will reduce the black money it will convince the people now the people can convince on anything if you have the control on the electing electronics media so it was uh, it was said to the people yes we are coming with a scheme that will reduce all the black money like the same provision we saw that yes uh, there are the demonetization of the rupees that it will bring the all the money we the people the innocent people they believe everything okay in the same manner this electoral bond we believed but yes in the core it was not for the it was not for the bringing the black money just it was to hide to show that elect corp uh, corporate funding okay so it was a attack on the democracy very co very core of the democracy when four law was amended to, uh, amended to introduce just a single scheme that the writer has mentioned so what was uh, that was the level of the compulsion further it has discussed that uh, there is no concept of independent vote into the india ruling party member have to vote in the favor of the government unlike the united states for example we have the defection law and as per the defection law if you are going to vote against the party you are elected you will be disqualified but generally this is very much misused there is always a debate that how much uh, the extent of this defection law should be used it should be only when the, the some one is going to re, uh, resign from the party and going to join other party but yes for the simple laws and regulation there could be the cross voting it should be permitted because i have some uh, despite i belong i may be belong from the some party but i couldn't agree with the, some of the uh, some of the thought opinion of the party in that case i can cross vote but i can remain in the same party oh, this is the concept of in the united states but this is not in the india okay so further it is talking about the this amendment all this amendment was violation of the article 19 and article 14 article 19 that is the right to information article 14 because it is the arbitrariness in the laws uh th that is not permissible into the right to equality okay you cannot bring any any of the law that is arbitrary upsc has asked one of the question i will give it into the uh, uh, few days five okay sbi has to submit okay uh, now as per the ruling sbi have to submit full details of all the electoral bond that uh, that was issued of, okay so a date has been given so it is sad that the 
price of democracy is eternal vigilance. Democracy doesn't come in a uh, simple manner. The citizen have to be very much uh, vigilant that whatever the government is doing, you should ask, you should question. That is the citizenry. That is needed for the flourishing uh, democracy. Yes, you can support the party, any party, in respect of the support the party. You should also question the same party. It is not that you become so much loyal that you stoop so low that you cannot, you are just showing the bhakti and yes, favoritism. So this is not, this is a path to the uh, authoritarian and dictatorship as uh, our uh, founding father, uh, the uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar himself said into the, his uh, final speech into the Constituent Assembly that yes, we need to question everything that whether you are following the Constitution or you are going to violate the democracy, you whatever your charm will be there, but yes, questioning should be always there from the citizenry. So outcome of the vi uh, vigilance, uh, uh, vigilance by the citizens, we need political party, but it is up to the up to ensure that they work for the good of society and the nation. Yes, parties are important. They are they they are they are to govern. They are they are to serve the. But we should always uh, there should be the always citi active citizenry and the civil society to question them as well. Okay. Next important news that is with respect to the this Congress, uh, the account of Congress party has been freed. So yes, look what is the issue. This is very much to again. What is the main thing? There was the uh, uh, there was the near about pending of 14 lakh here. It has given the 14 lakh. It was about to be paid by the Congress party. Congress party delayed it for the. I think five months. They they submitted it after the five months, and for this delay of the five months, what was the pen? Uh, forty-five days. Okay, forty-five days. Just not even the five months. Forty-five days. One month, uh, one and half month. And for this forty lakh uh, lakh, uh, lakh rupees, what was uh, what uh, what was the penalty imposed? Two ten crores. That was the penalty on the fourteen lakh of the this uh, balance amount that was being uh, it was expected to pay into the itr okay so and now this has been uh, the all the account has been freezed so this is the level this is not the way you are imposing the uh, this article is talking about the, this is not this is disproportionate amount of the penalty you have imposed and this is not the way you are going to freeze the uh, account of the opposing uh, political parties because uh, already in this judgment we uh, saw in judgment of the this electoral bond we uh, we have seen that the judiciary has seen the money has power to influence everything and yes money if the money power if i have just 100 rupees to uh, to contest in an election and uh, someone has the 10 crore okay so despite my standing there is the more influence that that person can do by the 10 crores that person can use into the uh, by this uh, electronics media that person can distribute the money lot of thing is there that money can impact influence the election process and that's why this bond was against the free and fair election concept and discipline and yes it was creating the threat to the democracy itself okay so here it has means uh, mentioned that weaponization of law against the political opponent of the ruling party has become a serious threat to the indian democracy okay the claim that all this is being done to fight corruption and ensuring transparency cannot be taken in the face value if you are doing for this you should also doing for the same person if he is in the opposing party when you are joining your party whenever the person is joining a party all the crime all the allegation get removed from that particular person or the party this is the thing that is going on when the accountability is invoked for is cutting the political activity of opposition that can only board ill for the democracy. So this is all about. Next important news that uh, we will take is with respect to this uh, free trade agreement that is going with the European e Union and this is done under the Free Trade Association, European Free Trade Association. It is about to be uh, yeah, conclude. So you should remember that what is the main issue? The main issue is with this respect to the, there are the many countries of EU who have very strong hold in the 
pharmaceutical industry like the Switzerland and this Norway they are the base for the pharmaceutical industry and uh, if you go with the, this uh, data exclusivity in that case there will be very difficulty in making the generic drugs and as per this country who are the base they are the good in the research and development and that's why they bring new patent and medicines formula and uh, but the thing is that it is it is it is true that there is lot of money needed to invest in the searching for a new drug for the any of the disease and by that if you, uh, uh, they have whatever they have invest, invested they want to get it back by the selling this uh, medicines and that's why there is the high prices of this medicines but the thing is that if you go with the that much high cost it will be not affordable for the common man in the developing country yeah, that's why the countries like the india and developing nation br bring the uh, this compulsory licensing under this compulsory licensing what we do under compulsory licensing provision we give uh, we allow our local pharmaceutical companies to produce some of the medicine that are patented so we give the bypass we give the a waiver of this patent law so these company these countries create pressure on the european uh, european um, uh, uh, council and yes this uh, agreement this deal that please bring the data exclusivity so the, the fight is between data exclusivity and the compulsory licensing please remember these two concept okay so this is all about for today's news here we will conclude our session already we have covered whatever the relevant area are there so thank you for joining the session all the best jai hind